force and friction, the thumb and forefinger make a firing sound. Once upon a time, the friends board on finding a blood-filled forge. They ask their abiding middle brother for his shoulders to balance his boat-bellied forge upon. This brother is always bearing the brunt of their weighty, waxing wisdoms. He is bitter with nearly never doing the picking or prodding, only holding, steadying, waiting for proposed purpose, callous and cursed, yet always loyal and lengthy, he agrees. The forge is found rusty, writhing, irony, sweetened savagely. Though, when not belligerent, he is, great, he is a great bellowing braggart, strutting about sources of scars and pains of past and possible future failures. He has always known his dutiful destination. He was birthed to bleed until dry. With his last moment of, moments of life, he will scratch his last symbols with his neck. His tongue is ghost whispering his final wishes to the sea's surface. The three fellows take their tinder field weeks, and with hopes of persuasion, the boat filled belly forge, the boat belly forge is out on the great sea of white wandering leaves. The keel of the forge is slicing the sea's pale complexion with permanent endless expressions and inferring implications. The sea, stirred, feels like feels the familiar tickles turning to tingles, stinging turning to stamping, until it is numbed by its own subservient nature, listening to the pulse of the forge, absorbing its strategic strategic stain, letting this vessel forge on and over, piercing and pulling. They hung together a secret song that only the heat of the fingers and the force of their master know the beat to until it stops. Never the same way twice. The last hope-filled thought, remember you have a voice. Nevertheless, the last symbols sing with no voice. The end. <laughs>